Summary of Sophie's World by Jostian Garter At the start of the book, a Norwegian girl named Sophie Amundsen, who is almost 15 years old, gets a bunch of strange letters. Letters have been sent to her, but they are meant for another person, Hilda Mollernag. Philosophical questions like how was the world made, and is there life after death, are asked in the letters. Sophia doesn't know what to think about these questions, but she doesn't tell anyone, not even her mom or best friend Joanna Ingebrigtsen, that she's getting someone else's mail. Hilda's letters are still being sent to Sophie. Sophia learns a lot about the past of Western thought from the letters. Long letters from a guy named Alberto Knox make up the first few lessons. Philosophy's roots can be found in religion and belief. These letters also talk about the rise of natural philosophy in ancient Greece and the intellectual achievements of Plato and Aristotle. Alberto writes in these letters about the philosophical questions that thinkers still ask today, what is real? How should people live? What does the world consist of? Sophie thinks that Alberto's lessons on Plato and Socrates are very good. Sophie learns that Socrates was a wise man, but in a strange way, he said he knew nothing about the world and that all people were naturally smart enough to understand science, logic, and morals. Sophie's mother starts to think that the letters she's getting are love letters from a boy at school as the letters keep coming. Sophie tries many things to find Alberto Knox, but none of them work. She finds out that Alberto uses a dog named Hermes to carry the letters. Sophie is able to find Hermes one day in an empty house. Sophie finds two paintings in the cabin. One is called Berkeley, and the other is called Jerkley. Sophie also finds a brass mirror in the house. She believes she can see another girl in it. Lucy brings the mirror back to her house. Along with that, she starts to find strange things that don't belong to her, like a scarf, a wallet, and a gold candlestick. Sophie is still getting letters from Alberto. Aristotle taught that research and careful study of the physical world were very important. The Hellenic thinkers built on the ideas of Plato and Aristotle without really changing them. Finally, she learns about the start of Islam in the Middle East. As the letters go on, we learn that Sophie's dad is very busy with work and has to travel a lot. Sophie also sees news stories about a UN official who is stationed in Lebanon, and some of her letters have stamps from that country. When Sophie meets Alberto Knox for the first time, it's late at night and the church is empty. That's where Knox tells Sophie all about the Middle Ages. He talks about how the Judeo-Christian and Greco-Roman traditions interacted with each other in a complicated way. For example, Thomas Aquinas and St. Augustine wrote about how these two traditions came together. She finds out that Hildegard of Bingen was a very important thinker in the Middle Ages. When she gets home, she looks in the mirror and thinks she sees Hilda Mahler Nag's face. As Sophie continues her lessons with Alberto, who is now stationed permanently in Sophie's town, strange events start to happen. Sophie sees signs saying that Hilda's father, Albert Nag, will soon be coming back to Scandinavia from Lebanon. She also finds money on the ground at the same time she learns she lost her bus fare. Sophia's mom asks her if she wants to have a party for her upcoming birthday, but Sophie says she doesn't want one. Sophie keeps getting letters from Albert Nag. One day, she learns that Hilda, Albert's daughter, is the same age as Sophie because they were both born on the same day. Sophie learns from Alberto about the background of the Renaissance in the 1500s and 1600s. During this time, Europe adopted the humanist philosophy of praising people's real-world accomplishments. During this time, Martin Luther started the Protestant Reformation, which led to the formation of current Christian groups. During this lesson, Alberto calls Sophie Hilda, but he quickly corrects himself. Sophia changes her mind and tells her mom that she wants her birthday party to have a philosophical theme. Albert Nett keeps writing Sophie letters in which he tells Hilda that he'll be back from Lebanon soon. As Alberto talks about the history of the Baroque period, Sophie talks about the rise of realism in the UK and logic in France. This time period led straight to the Age of Enlightenment. 
It was during this time that European intellectuals began to believe in the value of natural law, unalienable rights, and hard work in the classroom. At this time, some of the most important thinkers, like David Hume and John Locke, questioned Christian dogma and tried to replace it with a more natural way of thinking. Around the same time, people like Baruch Spinoza questioned whether or not people have free will, saying that the world is fixed and freedom is just an illusion caused by our lack of knowledge about causes and effects. Sophie and Alberto find more signs that a powerful god is running their world as they learn more about Spinoza and his followers. Happy birthday, Hilda, streamers fly through the sky. Then we switch to Hilda Mahler Nag's point of view. She is a young girl who lives in a house called Jerkley and is slowly realizing that she is reading the story of Sophie and Alberto in a book that her father, Albert Nag, sent her from Lebanon. Sophie reads flags and letters that are meant for Hilda to read. Similarly, the strange things Sophie finds in her room are real things that Hilda has lost. Hilda quickly starts to think of Sophie as a very real person after reading about Sophie's philosophy lessons. She even starts to dislike her dad for being so cruel to Sophie and Alberto. Hilda reads while Sophie learns about Kant and other important thinkers of the Enlightenment. Sophie and Alberto's lives get stranger and stranger as they talk about philosophy. Characters from stories like Little Red Riding Hood and Alice from Alice in Wonderland show up and mess with their conversations. Sophie and Alberto slowly start to understand that Albert Nag is in charge of them. When they try to figure out how to get away from him, they find they can't because they're in a book he wrote. At the same time, Alberto keeps teaching Sophie. Romanticism was a time in European culture that came after the Enlightenment and shaped a lot of the 19th century. Sophie learns about important people from that time, like George Hegel and Soren Kierkegaard. She learns about scientific thinkers like Karl Marx, Sigmund Freud, and Charles Darwin, whose ideas have had a big impact on science, health, politics, and history. Sophie learns about existentialists from the 20th century, such as Jean-Paul Sartre and Simone de Beauvoir, as her last lesson with Alberto. Sophie is getting ready for her birthday party, and Hilda is getting ready for her father to come back from another world. Albert Nag will be going through Copenhagen, so Hilda calls her friends there and plans for them to play a big joke on Albert. At Sophie's birthday party, things go crazy when a fight breaks out. Just as things are about to end, Sophie and Alberto vanish into thin air, leaving their book behind. The story of Sophie and Alberto keeps going, but we don't know how or who is writing it. As Sophie and Alberto drive to Oslo, they feel like the real world has frozen around them. At the same time, Albert Nag gets to the Copenhagen airport and is confused to find a bunch of letters welcoming him home. It's a lot like the birthday letters Sophie found all over her house for Hilda. Alberto and Sophie take a car to Hilda's neighborhood and see her reunited with Albert. It's not clear which parts of the story are which at this point. A woman named Hilda meets Albert, and Albert says that Hilda's complex tricks have scared him. Hilda tells Albert that she wanted him to feel like one of his own characters, and Albert agrees that she has. Albert and Hilda look up at the stars and talk about science and ideas. After reading the book he sent Hilda, Albert is surprised by how much she has learned. Sophie and Alberto watch Hilda and Albert at the same time. It's impossible for Sophie to talk to Hilda because the world is frozen, Alberto tells her. Sophie still hits Hilda with a big branch, though. Hilda's face has a strange sting feeling. Albert makes fun of the fact that Hilda was stung by Socrates, but Hilda says Sophie did it. About the author. Jostian Garter was born in Oslo and raised in Bergen, Norway. In college, he studied theology and literature. He taught high school in Bergen for many years and started writing Sophie's World, the book that made him famous, during that time. Garter became well-known in Scandinavia in the late 1980s for writing tales for kids. Not until Sophie's World came out in 1991 did he become famous all over the world. After this book did well, Garter wrote more children's stories and also became a famous columnist, talk show host, and reporter. He created the Sophie Prize, named after the main character in his book, to honor education and environmental understanding. 
He also wrote a piece advocating for Palestinian rights. Hope we summarized it fully and you liked it. Please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel so that we are motivated to create more videos.